Scandal after scandal, yet Hillary Clinton continues to dominate the polls. The author of the new book, Clinton Cash, Peter Schweizer, joins me now. Good evening, Peter. Hey, great to be on with you, Judge. Thanks um, for having me. All right, Peter. The Clintons became incredibly wealthy while Hillary was a United States Senator and Secretary of State. Everybody, though, uses the same line. There's no evidence. But, you know, Peter, that's a job of a prosecutor, but nobody wants to look at this. Why? Well, I think it's a combination of things. I think, first of all, you know, the book just came out on Tuesday, so people are starting to absorb it. These are not quick and easy stories. This is not like Deflategate and the Patriots. It's complex. It's very, very important. I think the second thing, though, and, and Peggy Noonan alluded to this in her uh, piece in the Wall Street Journal today, part of it is people kind of expect from the Clintons that you're going to get scandal. And what I've encouraged people to do is look at these cases, take the name Clinton out of it and ask yourself, <laughs> would you tolerate this from any other political figure? And I think the answer is no. Well, you know, the, everybody runs around and says, there's no evidence, there's no evidence. Even he says there's no evidence. And, you know, I yeah. say to myself, Peter, I say, you know, you know how many murder convictions or murder cases I tried where I got convictions on circumstantial evidence? It requires the juror to simply connect the dots. Now, the State Department says they're not going to investigate. We haven't heard from Comey and whether the FBI is going to do this. Who should be looking at this? Forget the public opinion. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I agree with you completely. I mean, I think the evidence, the fact pattern here is far more compelling than it was in, uh, you know, the governor uh, of Virginia's case, Senator Menendez in mm -hmm. New Jersey, or mm -hmm. Kit Sauber out in Oregon who resigned. I think the fact pattern here is far more compelling. I think you're going to have to have somebody with serious courage. You're going up against the Clinton political machine. I've faced it. Other people have faced it. But look, I think a prosecutor needs to look at this. I think the FBI needs to look at this. And I think we need to have congressional committees that have subpoena powers yeah, to look at this. Yeah, but you know what this. the problem is, Peter? It, we're, get, we're running into the 2016 presidential year. Everyone's going to say it's politics yep. as usual. And, you know, the, who's the Justice Department? The Justice Department, the head of it, is appointed by President Obama and a friend of the Clintons. Come on, let's right. not kid each other. It's got to take someone yeah. like the FBI, where you've got Jim Comey. He's there for 10 yep. years. And, you know, who knows what, who the next president's going to be, Republican or, or Democrat, but look, the latest thing is this this Kazakhstan Eurasian, uranium one deal. Bill Clinton. I'm not going to go through the facts. The guy makes five hundred, seven hundred fifty thousand dollars a speech when he used to make a hundred thousand. Right. And now they said, but there was nothing wrong. Now we find out the guy in Kazakhstan <laughs> was jailed for his role in that Clinton deal. Talk to me about That's that. That's exactly right. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, this deal stinks to high heaven. Not only do you have the Canadian billionaire and eight other people connected to this small uranium company donating $145 million to the Clinton Foundation. You have an official in Kazakhstan who put this deal together who says that Kazakh officials were pressured by then Senator Hillary Clinton to close this deal or she would not meet with Kazakh officials. He gets tossed in jail. Uh, and then, of course, this deal gets greenlit um, for the Russians to take over this uranium company. I ask people, I said, imagine a Secretary of Defense who has a private foundation, who has a matter before him at the Pentagon. His family foundation gets $145 million from the shareholders in that company that gets approval from the Pentagon. Wouldn't you have a problem with that? Of course you would. Of course, would there be an investigation you know what, Peter, of that by the FBI? Of course. The problem is that the public doesn't seem to care. Her numbers seem to be holding her going up, even though she's considered, you know, untrustworthy. But in the end, I I mean, I fear that the American people may end up with this kind of business for the next four or eight years. Last, last. Well, thought. yeah, the the voters the voters can pick obviously who they want to pick. I do think the numbers on her untrustworthiness have gone yeah. up dramatically. I think we're very early in the polls. It's more about the names you know than the mm -hmm. candidates that you know, and we'll All see. Right. I mean, the thing to remember about the Clintons is ninety two and ninety six. Bill Clinton never actually won more than fifty percent of the vote. All so right. you know. Peter, we'll have to see. We'll see. Thanks so much for being with us. And Thank coming you. up, could the U.S. Refugee Resettlement Program be a backdoor for jihadists to get into our country? You're not going to want to miss my view on why you're in danger. Next.